What's going on everybody? Got another video for you today and today we'll be looking at another new edition and uh, we got a couple more videos like this of new editions. We've been growing the collection more and more over the last couple of months and um, you know I just haven't been filming the new stuff that's been coming in. So basically this gecko that I'm about to show you guys uh, isn't something we necessarily planned on getting but we figured uh, why not? Well, we'll get this gecko, get some experience working with this type of animal, and, you know, if somebody makes us a good offer, we could sell it. Because, um, basically, we did a trade at the CRBE Expo, um, back in Toronto in September. So, my buddy Gareth had really wanted one of these geckos. So, what we did is, we did kind of like a trade with some money, and we ended up getting two of these. So... Without further ado, let's go and get this little animal to show you guys. Obviously, you could tell by uh, the Pangea that's in this cage that it's going to be one of those fruit-eating geckos. And here we go. Let's focus in on it. This right here is a Lichianus gecko or a uh, giant gecko. So if you guys aren't familiar with them, they're some of the biggest geckos on the planet. Um, this one here and the one that Gareth got were produced by Major League Chewies. They're uh, located in Ontario. I'm not too sure where, but you guys can look them up on uh, Facebook, Instagram, all that good stuff. Major League Chewies. So obviously they deal with Chewies, but they also do uh, Legianus geckos too. So this right here is what they call, or what people call, a super cross. Um, I don't know why they call it a super cross instead of just a regular cross, but basically it's not a, a pure locale, it's actually a Nuana mixed with a Nuami locale. So this animal as it continues to grow will get really nice pinks in it. Um, you could see some of that pink is already starting to show up. So when we first got this animal in, um, I was actually keeping it at my place and it was doing okay, but it wasn't really doing great. Um, it didn't eat too much compared to like, let's say, you know, Chihua geckos. It showed uh, no interest in crickets whatsoever. It still doesn't really eat crickets, but since I brought it here to Safari Reptiles, it's been doing a whole lot better. And I believe that that's because it's able to get a optimal amount of humidity here. And it's basically at the perfect heat. You guys can see we have these uh, exoterra cages all set up in a row here and they continue on the bottom shelves there. We have all our uh, cressids, gargoyles, and who is in these. Gotta take a jump there. And basically these cages have the mist kings attached to them, which spray the cage about three times a day. So the humidity is always gonna be good. And as you could see, we got our chameleons in this room as well, where we do have incandescent heat bulbs over each of the cages, but we don't heat these cages with anything. Whoop. So basically the cages all end up being around, I would say, 77 degrees, which seems to be really good for our animals. They've been growing really well and we've actually switched. We will feed Rapashi still on occasion, but for the most part we're feeding the Pangea uh, insect mix and our lychee here seems to really like that. So. This animal is available for sale. It's actually been doing really well, like I just said. Uh, it's, believe it or not, doubled in size in the last three months. So it's growing really well for a lychee because these guys are supposed to be pretty slow growers. Uh, usually you have to wait about three years before you even think about breeding them. So as of right now, it's unsexed. I don't know how how uh, reliably you could sex lychianus with uh, a jeweler's loop, but Really nice looking gecko. They're a, a little bit easier to handle than some of the other arboreal geckos. Uh, you know, especially the Cressa gecko will jump a whole lot more. Um, right now, it's kind of making a liar out of me, but you can see even though it, it is jumping, they're pretty slow moving by comparison. And uh, this sort, this type, um, the Nuami X Nuana, those are two of the smaller locales so maybe this guy um, if it's a male will top out at around nine inches so it won't be huge at the uh, at the expo I got uh, the pleasure of handling 
the Grand Terre version, uh, the Grand Terre locale, and those guys are huge. We're talking, you know, the uh, the length of my forearm. Um, I mean, the heads were like this long and almost just as wide. So, but obviously those animals, uh, because of that, you know, impressive size, they're gonna have a much higher price tag. You know, we're talking about the Grand Terre almost being double the price of uh, this little guy here. So, gonna give you guys whoop, one final look at this Lichianus. And uh, if you guys haven't subscribed already, please do so. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. And if you're uh, located in Canada and you're interested in purchasing this little guy, drop us a line on our Facebook, Safari Reptiles, or you could also contact us, uh, direct message on Instagram, I guess. Make sure to like that page. We got a lot of cool stuff going on. Um, you know, there's some projects that we have going on here that I actually uh, haven't posted to YouTube, but I posted on that Instagram, such as our albino carpet pythons that we're pairing this year. So uh, make sure to follow us there on Instagram. And again, like the page on Facebook, Safari Reptiles. And uh, stay tuned for more videos, guys. Um, I may do more new edition videos or pretty soon we're gonna have the big uh, ball python update and the ball python 2017 um, breeding season preview. Take care, guys.